the good thing of earthen house is you can design whatever you want and then you can decorate whatever you want also if you have the window and the edge of the window is too sharp you can cut it off just use the old merchandise or any kind of tools to shape it to make it round or any shape as you want some people have question about the strength of the wall how hard you can shape the wall how hard you can dig on the wall actually earthen house whenever you put the second floor or put the roof on it's always so strong unbelievable strong it's stronger than you can expect it you can work as hard as you can you can dig as hard as you can so it will not crumble it will not collapse because it's it's a wall bearing system when we build with the bricks all the each layer of bricks will overlap that's the way it can hold the weight very well and it can spread the weight very well so we can dig as hard as we can if we want to shape it bigger you can dig it wider also when it's dry you can always do whatever you want on the wall look at this part of the wall i try to dig it very hard but it's so hard some people say that if you build a tent house the thief will break into the house easily they just bring a space and dig it into the house easily but actually to break in the door and the window to cut the lock is a lot easier than digging like this if we have to put the window frame or the door frame later or if we want to replace the window frame or door frame we always dig it deeper bigger than the door frame to make it bigger than the frame at least four inches in each side of the frame it will be easier to set up the frame there after we cut the wall wide enough to put the window frame on top of it and then we can adjust it easily the next thing we have to do is just mix the mud with straw it's important to make the straw in there because if we put only mud the frame will sink into the mud easily but when we have a lot of straw in there it can hold the frame in the level that we want easily so make mud and straw first and put on the bottom part of it then we can put the frame on top of the mud after that we can check the level if some size is too high we can use hammer to hit it down hit the high side down to make it level or another choice is we we can raise the lower side up to make it in the right level that we want it and another thing is we need to check the side of the frame to make it straight it had to be 90 degrees straight that will be good frame it can carry weight better when we get the right position we have to put rock or a dirt to hold it we push the rock or dirt between the frame and the wall so it will lock the frame to stay tight the next step is just to fill up the gap between the frame and the wall we use the same mixture that is mud and straw sometimes we if we don't add enough straw it can crack so don't worry about we don't have too much straw just make more straw in there it will not shrink it will not crack at all and some space is too big some place too big we can add 
bricks, broken bricks, or rock, or some left over concrete or anything in there. If we add something like that, it helps the wall to dry fast and it holds the frame very well also. So don't think about something beauty. Just whatever you grab it around you, just add in there. And after you plaster over it, and you can't see it anymore after that. So this is the way we chain the door or fill up the door frame. The door, the window, we can chain it easily like this. When we fill up the gap very well, and we need to plaster, make it even to the rest of the wall, and let it dry for a few days. When it totally dry, we can paint over it. It will look like a brand new house after that. It's nice. So to make earthen house is very fun. It's like you play, play with mud and you get a house. When you start to play with it, there's no right, no wrong. It's only about you like it or not. If you don't like it, change it. So you can always change anything at the house. You can move the window from this side to another side. You can close this window with mud. It's okay. You don't worry about something will collapse. You can always dig anywhere. You can open the wall anywhere easily. So earthen house is so strong. So it lasts so long. Sometimes the window frame will be eaten by termites. So we can dig it off and replace a new one and plaster and paint over it. It will look like a brand new house. Some people who have old earthen house and they don't know how to fix it, they just took it down and then built a concrete house instead. I feel bad for that because it's so easy to fix it and chain anything as you want. Earthen house is something easier than any kind of building. Anybody can do it. It's so much fun and you don't need to pay a lot of money. You pay as much as you want. That is real freedom. Yeah.